Let's look at the intra BSC handover scenario in this example. This is EMS connected to the old B BTS through the UM interface. Uh, it'll be handing over to the new BTS, both connected to the same BSC. That's why it's called intra BSC handover. So let's see what happens um, at every point. So MS sends the measurement reports of uh, the received power level from this BTS which it's connected to and also the measurement reports of the adjoining cells or the neighboring cells to the BSC on the slow associated channel. So this is the let's say measurement reports and then the same thing the BTS adds its own measurement reports and sends it to the BSC. At this point the BSC decides that this new BTS will be able to better serve the call and it makes a handover decision. Handover decision. At that time at this point the BSC sends a BTSM channel activation command to this new BTS that it wants the mobile to hand over to. So BTSM base transceiver station uh, management uh, protocol is used here which the message is channel activation message and in this channel activation message the B BSC includes the handover number the kind of the type of handover and also the channel type and the channel number the new BTS responds back with an ACK with an acknowledgement of this uh, of this message here. After the new BTS says that okay, you know I'm ready with the new channel, uh, the BSC will send a handover command to the MS, and the channel used here is fast associated channel RIL three radio resource handover command sent by the BSC to the MS this handover command in, you know includes the handover reference number HRN number and also the characteristics of the new BTS that uh, BSC wants this mobile to hand over to once the MS gets that message it switches over to the new radio resource and sends the handover access message RIL3 radio resource handover access message which contains the handover reference number uh, the BTS gets that message and actually tells the BSC that through the BTSM message that handover has been detected through the handover detection message here after that the new BTS will send the MS physical channel information message RAL 3 RR and all of them are happening on the fast associated channel the physical information so that the MS can uh, for MS to transmit correctly on you know on the physical channel uh, once the MS gets that the MS sends a set a so set, set asynchronous balance mode layer 2 message to the BTS asking for the BTS switch to the multi -frame, multi frame mode once the BTS receives this message it will send a BTSM handover established connection message so not the handover but it will send establish connection message to the BSC indicating that the radio link layer has been established which was initiated by the MS at the same time it will send a response back to the SABM which is called the Unnumber, you know, unnumbered answered message, layer two message. Once this is done, uh, the MS will send. Once this is done, the MS will send a handover complete 
message to the BSC RIL3 RR handover complete message to the BSC letting the BSC know that the handover has been completed the BSC then will obviously send a BTSM channel release message to the old BTS asking BTS to release the channel now because the mobile is not anymore in its domain the mobile has moved over to the new BTS and this is now acknowledged by the old BTS and that is the whole process how the intra BSC handover takes place where mobile moves from this old BSC to the new BSC thank you very much